There you go. Let's see if we can find it. Everyone is entitled to all the rights. So, there you go, freedoms and rights. Years ago, close reading really wasn't what we call the thing to do. You would just read the text, maybe stop here and there, ask a few questions, but it was not as detailed and it was not as complex as the close reading is today. Who is this about? Can you put your finger on who it's about? Excellent, BT Elise. Close reading gives you a lot of time to go more in depth, to make sure the kids are not only understanding the vocabulary, but are they really getting a deeper point of view? We're going to go back over the target. Ready. I can determine the main ideas my class is over 80% English language learners. And I even have students who have very little to no English skills. Language, religion, political, or other. I have to prepare. I have to look at it through the eyes or the perspective of my students. How can I give them equal access to this text? Ready, go. What is the gist of this article? What is it mostly about? Today, we were really digging deep into the close read of Article 2, which is don't discriminate. When we started off reading, I taught my students first, let's just read through the first time and come up with what we think is the gist. What do you think the gist is of Article 2? What do you think the gist is? Saida, can you read one gist for us, please? Workers rise, equal pay for equal work. So that was one of our gist that we thought, hey, I think this is what it is mostly about after we read it the first time. Readers have to understand and get a quick understanding as they read. Oh, come away with the first time. I think this is about, but good readers also go back and check their understanding and they go more in depth in analysis. What do we need to do to find the main idea, Giovanni? Text evidence. Text evidence. Who are these rights for? Everyone! Go, highlight everyone. After we do that gist, then we actually need to read a lot closer. That's really when we start to chunk it. And we really analyze. We look at those pieces to say, what do these pieces really say? And then what do they say all together to come up with the main idea? Without distinction. What did we say distinction means last time we t went over this. Dr. Jasmine. Differences. Without differences. I need you to find at least two distinctions or two differences that do not take away our human rights. On your mark, get set, go. Work with your partner. Having that close read gives them that opportunity to bounce ideas off of each other. Um, that's really important for students to make sure that they're doing that read, think, talk, write cycle. Or language, language, birth, and religion. Race, color, and religion, and birth. Please give me at least one distinction that you talked about with your AB partner, Dr. Giovanni. Um, give me one. Uh, oh, um, remember you're birth? using the text. There you go, birth. I love it. When you have complex text, you have an amazing uh, plethora of information that you could focus on. So the guiding questions and your targets allows teachers and students to develop a keen focus on this is the strategy, this is the skill that they need to walk away with to better prepare them for the assessments ahead. What I want you to do on number seven, you're only going to look for the main ideas when you find those main ideas, what are you going to do to them? Excellent. Hand up if your partner A. Who's partner B? Awesome. Work with your partner. Some of the natural supports, the organic supports that I see happen is students want to help the other students and they don't broadcast it. They ask questions as if they're the teacher. They actually act like a family. Look at 
see. I think we all. But yeah, because it makes sense. Everyone should be treated the same, regardless of where they are from and what they are. Because everybody are the same. Everybody are the same. We're human beings. Humans. Child from the text evidence. Text evidence. It shows that right here, um, the country or territory to which a person belongs. Whether it be independent. All right. Did we determine the two main ideas? Yes. Excellent. Give me a thumbs up. Drop those in main idea boxes one and two. Read it to me. No matter what you you look like or what you believe you are, entire. To this right. Now, do you have any text evidence to prove that you're right? Everyone is entitled to all these rights and freedom set forth in the Declaration so, without any kind of. For everybody of can, everybody right. work for pay. Everybody have pay, equal pay for equal work. So nobody's different like all the people. Go ahead, ladies, break that down. Now we're going to wrap this up with this last thing. Can you find? In Esperanza Rising, with your partner, a detail that we have all the same rights. Go. A lot of the work that was structured for the curriculum was around Article 2. But what we wanted to also do was to help the students to make the connection between Article 2 and the literary text so they can see how it all works together. Did you find it? Okay, can you read it to us, please? The more exposure to required text at and above grade level, they'll start to build the confidence skills and the confidence within themselves to say, I am a reader. And not only am I a reader, I can enjoy reading because now I know what to do at any level.